Hey guys, Shane of Fugitive 3D Printing, and I got a pretty cool email today, and it was an announcement from Philistruder that there's some new E3D products out there, so let's take a look at them. The first one is, it's the same old Titan Extruder, except you can get it in a mirrored version. Now this is absolutely excellent, because if you're trying to do a side-by-side -side dual extruder printer build, and you want to use Titan Extruders, well right now, you have to space them out in order to make space for the wheel to be beside each other. But you don't have to do that anymore because with the mirrored version, you can put them side by side and not lose as much space. You're still going to lose a lot of space because look here, from where the hot end comes out, the heat break, and to the end of where the housing is for the Titan is quite a bit of space. It's even more when you have to put them side by side this way because you, all of this distance is gone over here. But when you're having this one here and the other one, it's just gonna be right around here. And that's really nice because you get them nice and close together. It was, you'll still be able to get your fingers in there to turn the wheel and whatnot. So I think this is a great move by E3D to do this. And you can go ahead here to the website check out all the nitty gritty details. I'm showing you off of Philistruder because this is where I buy from here in the US. Uh, they have a lot of useful information in here. It tells you why the Titan is so awesome, things you get, the resolution, speed, whatever you want, go ahead in here and check that out. The other really cool product that E3D put out is something called the E3D Titan Arrow. So it's an extruder and hot end combination, which is kind of mind blowing if you ask me, because this makes this huge assembly. So let's go back here to the Titan assembly. So see how big this is here? It's pretty huge once you have all that put together. But if you go here to the arrow, look at that. The heat break is actually built in and slapped to the front of the extruder housing. You gain 25 millimeters of space by using this setup. So if you really want to get some Z-height back, so if you had, say, a general MK8, MK9 on your 3D printer, you've upgraded to the E3D setup, and you want to gain back some of that Z-space, this could be the way you want to go. So if you here, look at the parts here, you can see right here is where your nozzle is going to come up and in, where your throat is what I call it. That's going to come up into here, and this just stops on the front, and you're going to have the fins on the front and a fan that goes right on there. It looks like to be a 30 millimeter fan and it comes with all of that built in. Now, if you're looking for the full kit, this does get a bit pricey here. So this is 109. This is the E3D V6 and the Titan all together. So you can go ahead and do a standard orientation, 1.75, 12 or 24, and that gives you everything you need to get this thing printing. And here's a screenshot of all the different parts that come in there so you can see everything you need to get going comes in this full kit. You can buy just the upgrade, so just the arrow upgrade, but if you're gonna be going this route, might as well buy it all together, it's a much better price. And again, here on Philistruder's website, they give you all the nitty gritty details of things you need to look at. And I again think this is an excellent move by E3D, just kind of being a breakout company to do these kind of things. They do have literally the best hot end, in my opinion, out there. I use it on now three of my printers, whether it be actual E3Ds, which I have a few, and I have clones on some of them as well. But this design is just amazing. This probably will be cloned at one point, which again is kind of sad to see, but they do print out all of their, they're basically open source. You can go out and find their actual drawings for this. So people just take that and clone it and make their own and make it cheaper. But you do get a lot better quality with genuine E3D products. I guarantee that one. Okay, so let's say you already have a Titan, you wanna to upgrade to this kit. They do have an upgrade kit available for $45. Again, you can pick this type of filament you want, whether it's 1.75 or three, standard or mirrored. And this, it gives you everything you need to slap that right on the front. Now with this upgrade kit, this is only for the front half of the extruder. It doesn't give you anything else in there. So from what I can tell, I honestly don't think the upgrade kit is worth it at all because they're only giving you these few things that you need to upgrade it, which is like nothing. If you're getting this, you're getting the actual housing, you're getting the hot end assembly, which you're not getting with the upgrade kit. So I think if you're gonna go this route, I would just sell off the E3D Titan you already have and purchase the full kit because it's much, much more worth the money. Because if you do do the upgrade, you're gonna have a, a regular V6 heatsink 
or heat brake hitting around that you're not going to need because you don't have a nozzle for it or anything like that. You're not going to have a heater block or anything for it, and you're going to have these unused parts that are kind of worthless. So I would just go the full route. If it was me, I would probably just go this route. So again, I just want to kind of bring this out to everyone's attention. I think it's really cool that they did this, and I wanted to share it with you. If you're not on Phyllis Struder or E3D's mailing list, you should probably do so. You get a lot of good information when things like this come out. I think this is actually a game changer for gaining back your Z height and keeping performance that you're looking for out of an E3D setup. I think this is really cool. So if you guys think so, go ahead here to Phyllis Struder or anywhere else you want to buy and maybe check it out.